definition, right? This is, and this is, you know, barred from design thinking, etc. But this is Norway Post's own definition of what a valuable innovation consists of. Okay, and so knowing that, then, how do you go about developing? So you've introduced the Helix model. Can you, can you explain about that? So this is the Helix model. Uh, it's, as uh, you just mentioned, it's nothing revolutionary. It's just taking all the best practices that we're discussing here today as well. Google Design Sprint, Design Thinking, and put it into a framework that works for us. And it's flexible enough that we'll have a, a menu of tools you can use and you should use, but you're not, it depends on the project which one you should use or not. And we guide and coach people to do that. So our big problem was that we only did waterfall projects and people knew what they want to make. And then they made an order for that, we put it into the market, turns out customers didn't want it. What a surprise. So actually a big change, mind shift change for us was actually going back and do the research of why do you want to change this IT system or this service? What's the problem you actually want to solve for a customer? And that's part of you have to do a lot of research. So in the first way you can explore, you really have to explore what's the real customer problem or internal problem. And then we build prototypes to see if can we make a system, an app, a website, a service that fix that problem. Then we used to have five business cases you had to go through gates with the economy and everything. Now here we use a lean canvas, if you know that. Uh, so it's fairly easy, it's a one page description of, so we did this prototype, we re reiterated on that prototype and it works. We'll go into creating this. Here we create the minimum viable product and we'll do a pilot. We'll see, this is where we see what customers really want it. And we also will set the price for it for the customer so we can see if they're willing to pay what it costs for us to produce. And this is fairly cheap to do. It's not a lot of people, it's cross-functional teams. The real cost is here when you do the scaling. And this is where you need the business case. But then you have tested your idea, your kata, and see if it works. And then here is where we do the product to scale it. So it's problem, prototype, pilot, and product. 